Numbers chapter 24, verse 17. There shall come a star out of Jacob, a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall crush the forehead of Moab. A scepter shall rise out of Israel. That is not a people. That's your cerebral, spinal, nervous system. Crush the forehead, which is what? The front of the body, where what is shown? Your third eye. This star out of Israel opens the third eye of Moab in metaphysical language is the head. In this book, Moab is a symbolic name and term that interconnects Ruth into the Masonic order and with the female in this science. The other Eastern star book in this particular book that talks about the goddess in the scriptures, the book of Ruth and the book of Esther, where Naomi is. Anybody see that word without me unscrambling it? Thank you. Anybody see anything else in there? Omni. Naomi's name. Omni. Not Omni. Look again. Does anybody see the Word of God there? Thank you. Now, where is my reader? He ran off because I wasn't using him. Here, take this book again. I, I couldn't get to you as soon and clearly as I wanted to because I had stuff all... Out of order, according to how I suppose to proceed. You're looking for the book of Ruth. I'm supposed to find this stuff faster than this. I usually do. But I know my rhythm's off. You know, like I said, I, but that's, like I said, that's my fault. So. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. No, it's not in the front. It's in the after Psalm. Uh, right. After Psalm and Proverbs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look in the index, you'll find it fast. Yeah, it'll be a little faster. But usually I just reach in here and turn to it. That's how I know my rhythm is off. I ain't able to do it today. Take your time, bro. Well, I, 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 I hate to bore black folks. That's the worst thing in the world, I think, a, a teacher can do is lose the interest of the listener. second okay stay up here I still if I hand me your copy let me let me see if I can because I only want one line here yeah, I'm not going to try to do the whole story uh, In this book, Ruth becomes a widow. Her husband dies. Again, establishing the widow and her son. 
Okay? The major key of scripture in relationship to both orders is this concept of widow and son. In one verse, in one verse only, and I'm supposed to have it marked, I got it marked in my, my book. I just bought this Bible here because it was so large. When Ruth and Naomi are talking, the two verses that I read is, I shall lodge where you lodge. It does not say, I will stay where you stay. It says, I will lodge where you lodge. There could be any bigger key in terms of what kind of book and what the point of reference is in that particular book about Ruth. Okay, one of the major badges worn by the Eastern Star is the badge of Ruth. You know, but that's for the outsider. Okay, what we're trying to do is get to the insider in this remarkable body of knowledge. Now what I was supposed to do was supposed to show you the 12 essences of Moorish science. And I think I'll do that anyway, so that at least you will have them. And we're supposed to give you a rundown on that construct, because in terms of this study, without these keys, the material that is available is not going to be of much help. And what you will find in the future will be of much help with these keys rather than without them. I was supposed to have all this stuff hanging up here. here. Let me go ahead and, and deal with this. This is the Eastern Star. See that from back there? Yeah. This is Esther in the Bible. Ishtar, Ishtar, Ishbar, Aster, Easter, Esther. In that book, the book of Esther. Okay. Look at this. What do you see there? All of the three gods, goddesses of three different cultures and the name of their goddess makes up this Greek code word, Isis. This is the mother Zodiacus, which is Zodiac. In the Bible, it is Jerusalem, the mother of us all, has nothing to do with people. With the circle of 360 degrees and 12 constellations. It's what is being explained in that particular verse. I was supposed to talk to you about the veil in this book. Yeah, uh, just hold on to it for a minute. But like I said, I got my rhythm thrown off here and it's really affected me. I don't think I've done a lecture this badly since I've been jumping up on this podium. On the veil and hidden knowledge in Scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 to 15. Hopefully you heard that so you can look this up. This is a major key when you start talking to the good Baptists 
and they start telling you that ain't in there. You know, I mean, part of this knowledge in terms of re-educating, not to challenge, you know, the believer needs to be right. They don't discourage the believer, but, but there is another level that he and she must aspire to. If they're not aspiring, walk away. Let them win the argument. There's no argument.